Hi everyone. So for my DigiDay today with Rise Above and Digicel, I decided why not like tap into your nutrition and show you how I go about prepping my breakfast. So before we get into the kitchen, I just want to kind of give you guys a little synopsis of like the importance of breakfast. Now, it really depends on what your goals are. I mean, is your goal to lose body fat and to shred or maybe you're in hypertrophy mode? hypotrophy, however you want to say that word, muscle building, it depends on what your goals are. Or maybe you're someone sedentary that doesn't do a damn thing all day. Shame on you, by the way. Um, but then it would be a different goal and I would have different advice for you based on that. So most of my clients are shredding. Most of my clients train extremely hard. And so for that reason, I'm more, mostly going to talk about the benefits of breakfast for weight loss, right? Now, let's just give you a quick a quick lesson on what the word breakfast stands for. So in short, breakfast breaks your fast. When you go to sleep, your body goes in what we call fasting mode. And it's pretty much a mode that your body like taps itself in to sustain itself throughout your sleep, right? So that like your body pretty much like dead kind of speaking and it's using up its nutrients to survive during your sleep. And then breakfast stands for break from fasting mode, which is why to some people it is the most important meal of the day because it breaks the fast. Now it depends what you're putting in your body because if you're putting in meat pies, fried jacks, tacos, then <laughs> that is worse than just, actually they're both bad. Starving and eating that crap, they're both equally bad. So, and um, I also wanna explain that cereal is not a breakfast, guys. And breakfast is super important. The one demographic that should never skip breakfast, no matter what it is that their goals are, are kids. Kids should never skip breakfast. You always want to be make you always want to make sure that you're nurturing their brain, and to do so, you have to feed them in the morning. So, with that being said, for my clients, breakfast is the most important meal. It depends if they do two sessions. It depends what shred it is. Every program is different. If they're doing two sessions, their AM or morning session is called fasted cardio, where they'll do like 15 to 20 minutes of a very small circuit that I provide them with and they will be completely fasted and then they go into their breakfast. Now, caloric, calorie base. 50 calories and more breaks your fast. So if you're consuming BCAs or anything like that while you're doing like fasted training, that's okay. You won't break your fast, but anything that's 50 calories or more will break your fast. So with that being said, let's go into my kitchen. I'm gonna show you what is my favorite breakfast of the day. Well, my favorite breakfast period, I can't say of the day. So. While I have all my things prepped and I'm gonna kind of go through everything, um, because I don't have any spinach today and I won't be making a spinach-based omelet, I wanted to supplement my greens with a, uh, a green supplement. Now, obviously supplements are completely, completely optional. For me, I like to supplement my life and I apologize for the mosquitoes. I like to keep my doors open and I guess they like my breakfast too. So I started off with a lime. Now, a few things that the lime does for me. Lime has so many benefits. Like, lime really helps with burning fat, so it's really good with weight loss. Lime reduces your, your blood sugar levels, like it, it pretty much balances it out. Um, lime is rich in potassium and magnesium. It has so many benefits, like lime, right? So I'll take a lime, half of a lime wedge, and I'll squeeze it into my shaker bottle. This I like my blender, because I don't really like don't all kind of dishes, right? So I have a blender ball in this, and this is like a steel insulated bottle, so it has your blender ball. So I'll take a scoop of my greens, and I supplement that in, a, in addition with my CLA and L-carnitine, which is a fat burning formula that I, I have pretty much mentioned this time and time again. It is my favorite, favorite supplement, this. So I'll supplement that with this. I'll shake it in my bottle, and then here you go. It literally tastes like lime juice. I love it. My 12-year-old niece loves it. Um, she doesn't like anything and she's like, oh my God, Tia, this tastes like lime juice. So I like it and because I'm not having spinach today, I decided to bring that into the video as well. So with that being said, let's get, let's get on with this video and explain do's and don'ts. So first things first, I'm gonna put my turkey bacon on because this takes the longest. Now, you don't have to be as picky like me. I like my turkey bacon like chips. So I like it like chips texture. Now I'm cooking for two this morning. So because I'm cooking for two this morning, I'm going to put um, four slices of turkey bacon on my pan here. Now, obviously it's on high heat right now, but I'm gonna go about lowering it. And I'm gonna take my spatula 
and I'm gonna be mashing it and flipping it ever so often so that it gets that like crispy chips texture, right? So at this point, I'm gonna lower it because I don't wanna burn it too bad. So I only had it on high for the beginning. Keep washing your hands, guys. We're still in a pandemic. Okay, so this is the turkey bacon and there are several types of turkey bacon. There's this one that you can find and they have another one and follow me. Follow me into the draw here. Let me show you the other one. This is the other type of turkey bacon. Um, let me grab this as well. So if you can't find this green one, then this is fine. See, it says 58% less fat. I personally never eat regular bacon. Like I, we don't eat pork in this house, guys. So turkey bacon for me, I've been eating this for almost 10 years. So it's my favorite and it is what I use. So that's why turkey bacon, right? So turkey bacon is the first thing. Obviously, what is breakfast with all your eggs, right? And I'll kind of walk you through what I decide to do with it. I'll pretty much go with my egg white omelet for today. Um, and I will have around like four egg whites for me. And then depending on who I'm programming for and how much I tell them to eat, you know, is based on like the ratio of how many egg whites to how many whole eggs with the yolk, right? For me, I stick to egg whites. Um, I use the olive oil palm spray so that it doesn't stick to the pan. Um, of course, a little bit of cheese and I'll walk you through how much cheese because I definitely don't want, want you guys getting cheese happy, right? So I like to be reasonable. I like to like, you know, I think all things in moderation. Now for me, oatmeal for me is the most powerful carb that I can ever consume. Like I have pretty much crit critiqued my oatmeal throughout the years. This is my favorite one because it is 100 calories. It is only 18 grams of carbohydrates per serving. Um, it's zero grams of sugar. Sugar is like the body's worst enemy, right? Now, obviously carbs will convert to sugar, but that is a different type of sugar than actual added sugar. So this is my favorite type. Um, it is very easy. I just pop this in. Um, I already have one prepped in the microwave. So I'll pop it in with water, put it in for a minute, and that's it. Now you could definitely have your Quaker Oats and if your oats like are not as good as mine, you know, and you always wanna shop for sugars. Like sometimes you're gonna see the oatmeals in the packets that are like strawberry, banana, but they're loaded with sugar. And if you notice and you can zoom in here, it only has, it has less than a gram of sugar. You wanna shop for sugar. So you wanna make sure that your sugars in your oatmeal are underneath like let's say three grams per serving. So for that reason and that reason only, I like this brand. Um, if you come across it, get it, it's delicious. It tastes like cinnamon roll. It is my favorite, favorite one. So for me, I have assessed every single carbohydrate there is and oatmeal for me happens to be the carb that gives me the most power to pull through my weight lifting because on a note, I did fling around some heavy weight. All right, with that being said, at this point, I kind of, I like to take my spatula and I like to do this like mash turkey thing, right? I don't know why, but I've been doing this for so many years and like for me, it just gives it like a really nice chips texture, right? Now I had to lower the fire because I don't want to bone up my turkey bacon, but so I'll be going flipping and mashing until I see it like chips texture, right? Cause I like it crispy, crispy, crispy. Not everyone's like me. Maybe some people like it just like this. This is just how I like my breakfast personally. Okay guys, so let's move on. Additionally, I think um, since I'm making a white, an egg white omelet, I am also going to be cutting up some turkey sausages. Like, like I said, I stay away from pork. So um, I bought this at Save You. Um, it's a life save. It saves my soul, because I'm literally going to cut it up, put some salsa casera with some habaneros, and then throw that in the middle of the egg whites. And you all are gonna see that as well.
And just like that, this is my favorite breakfast. So I have my carbs, my starchy carbs, which are my oatmeal, and that's gonna fuel me for my weightlifting later in the day. I have my egg whites with my turkey bacon inside. Of course, what is it without your salsa casera Marie Shops? I know Marie Shops never pay me for this. I just really like my Marie Shops, like my true Belgian coffee. I have my crispy chips texture. See my uh, chips, turkey bacon, love it, love it. And my greens since I didn't have spinach today. So super quick, a really healthy breakfast. Please don't be eating cereal, tacos, on the street, meat pile, and crap. Those are good to have in moderation, but I consider those cheat meals. And it's okay to cheat, but you gotta ask yourself, do I deserve a cheat? Did I put in enough work? Do I deserve one? If you're working your butt off, then yeah, you deserve one. But for those of you um, interested in losing weight, maximizing your lifts, getting stronger, hypertrophy, this is a really healthy breakfast. Obviously, the portions are dependent on the size of your body and um, how much you're lifting, how much you're training. Um, anyways, guys, this was a very unique Digi Day with Chriselle. Please be sure to check out my stories for incredible Digi Deals all day today. And yeah, um, have a wonderful day. You know, tomorrow is the day before the 10th day of September holiday. So you guys be safe, be good. You know, we're still kind of in a quarantine-ish. We're in lockdown. And we're still in the middle of a pandemic. Um, so yeah, and if you guys are interested in, you know, having me coach you in any sort of way, I have a huge Halloween shred launching on October 7th. You could win a thousand Belize dollars um, and learn everything from nutrition to how to train. So hit me up on plus 501-615-1234 via WhatsApp message only. Have a great day and great things happen when you what? Rise above.